This time around, Shredder breaks out of jail. Uh, you know, the last movie, Shredder, the turtles kind of uh, beat him down a little bit, but now he's he's got his roots back. And, and in this one, you won't see Shredder with a mask on. This is the real Shredder. This is uh, Oroku Saki, as we like to call him. And, uh, you know, he, he has his revenge and tries to take back New York, which he feels is his, and of course the world. So the turtles have to try to stop him. Yes, yes. I mean, they took everything that the last movie had and really brought in the comedy, the action, the entertainment, and kind of the, the tone of what the turtles actually are, you know? They're fun. They're mutants, they're ninjas, they're teenagers. So all of that fun that we know and love, along with the amazing action to make it bigger, better, better than, than the original. Uh, it's uh, me and Tyler Perry, me and uh, Gary Anthony Williams, me and Seamus. You know, it's, it's kind of a, the bad guy bond, is what I like to call it. You know, we have this bad guy bond to try to take down the turtles, so I'm dealing with all of the bad guys, and in the end, uh, I guess there's a bit of a surprise on, on uh, who our other bad guy bond would be. The people could look forward to, if you're a Turtles fan, it is the perfect Turtles movie.